Chicken Heart Stories and Timothy. <laughs> Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. This is the Cacophony episode. Put away all that cred bullshit. These are real role players with real hot rolls, dice rolls, hot and something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, something. My dice rolls are not hot. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they're, they're better than your cred rolls, that's for sure. Uh, folks, let's get the bullshit out of the way. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want a cool thing like a shower curtain, throw a pillow, phone case, shit like that, uh, check out our uh, shop, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. It's down there at the bottom. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot, not this Saturday because uh, we get to that in a minute. Uh, but next Tuesday between the rolls or the next one shot, hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Gmail or Twitter, and we will get you on there. Uh, new players are always pushed to the head of the line. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that don't roll shitty rolls like cred. Uh, you can find them on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. They are one of our sponsors at the convention. Also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours always smells like success and roses. Uh, check out <laughs> Oddfish Games. They are the makers of Adventure Sense. They have a wide variety of smells to help your in-person gaming not stink and put you into the mood. Check them out at oddfishgames.com. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you're a uh, burgeoning writer like myself and want to write gooder than me, check out their Shine system. They also have the How RPG with your cat Kickstarter coming soon. We'll let you know when that happens. Uh, also, Mattis Productions. Uh, if you're looking for battle maps or cool shirts or other things like miniatures, check out Mattis Productions. They are one of our sponsors at murderhobocon.com this Sunday. If you haven't signed up, you're shit out of luck. It's closed. It's over. It's <laughs> history. I am in the process of putting the final touches on everything. The venue is done. Uh, I have to count the door prizes. I have to get the email lists ready to go. I have to get the introductory letter to go. I'm just rubbing it into your face if you didn't get a chance to get signed up. Everybody on this screen is signed up, and they will be playing on Sunday. We will be broadcasting intermittently live from the con. Uh, who knows? If it's a success, maybe we do it again. Otherwise, we just shit can it and say we've done it. Move on. Yeah. Uh, to, as, as I said, tonight is the Cacophony game. This is episode number 42 for these guys. They have gone from shithead first level adventurers inside an urban area to trekking across Freckland, the not quite so frozen north in search of Odic the Stinky because of a uh, geographical snafu. They uh, are not even with their hot air balloon piloted uh, by Aerosmith. These guys are trekking it across the not yet frozen tundra with somebody named Nibby. We will get to the particulars here in just a minute. Let's uh, lead off with Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you? Who do you play? <laughs> I'm Caitlin in real life. <laughs> Daphne in the game. And I am a tiefling paladin. And tonight, Daphne's apparently feeling very summery. So instead of wearing my typical black, I'm in yellow flowers. Feels like I'm going to a wedding. Who knows? This game could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're just joyous that you're getting to play in Cacophony again. That's it. Uh, next up is David. David, same questions, different answers. Hey, I'm David in real life. Hey, and <laughs> uh, I play Zadar here tonight on Cacophony. I also play Ingve in the Calamity campaign, which, oh my God, you got to see the last episode. And uh, yeah, I also play Crow in the B side of the Calamity campaign. The boys from Toad Town, and then uh, and and girls, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, I'm shit lord. Uh, yeah, I am um, sexist shit lord. That's uh, right. Also, uh, yeah. So uh, and Ingve. So yeah, I think I got it covered. So. And you're always on between the rules. Yeah, that too. That too. Uh, last but certainly not least, behind the camera. Normally tonight, she's in front and behind the camera. Thank God, if you saw Tuesday's episode where I just 
fucking ruined it with my audio. Between uh, your audio and me getting cut off on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday was a debacle, but uh, Carrie is back behind and in front of the camera today. Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? No audio. No audio. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to head off the asshole dogs. Uh, my name's Carrie. I am married to this guy. And I play Crendor on the B side of the Calamity campaign. And in this, I play Camille. And I will be sad to see her go when this is over. A tear. Especially since she'll probably die. I have a mini of her that Carol painted for me. Oh, uh, that's right. And, that's right. And you are unmuted in real life, correct? Yes. Oh, awesome. Uh, see, she's <laughs> smarter than I was. I botched that shit all together. Uh, these guys are crossing the not yet quite so frozen tundra. They are being pursued by possibly a dragon. Last time they uh, found a raiding party of Crendor, AK, or yeah, Crador, uh, aka cannibals. Uh, they had been beaten up by some owlbears. Nebi, uh, one of the indigenous personnel here picked up after these guys landed, went ape shit and uh, made sure that all six Krator were dead while these three... We saw nothing. Ignored it. Uh, murder most foul. Uh, we rejoined these guys as uh, Nebi, covered in splattered blood, is quite happy with himself. He has been able to use his fathers and grandfathers and grandfathers before that prize frost giant baby axe to inflict damage upon those uh, battle painted <laughs> heathens known as the Crador. Uh, you guys are next to a large rushing river. You are trying to head east to find Odic the Stinky. Uh, in the hopes that he can somehow get you guys back on track. You were headed off to the Grand Academy to see your old friend Mortimer J. Sneed. Like I said, uh, your geographical map cartography skills were poor. You chose poor. Uh, you guys are here. There's a couple of dead owlbears. Uh, there's a couple of dead cannibals. What would you like to do next? Has everything been thoroughly looted? Not a whole lot to take, not even a uh, G-string cod piece for Daphne. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Daphne. She's already got one. A what? <laughs> G-string cod piece. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Daphne. Yeah, we didn't be. find one. Now, this is the beginning of day nine crossing the tundra. Uh, so you guys have a full day of travel. Uh, the river is right there. It does run east. Uh, up ahead, you see that it splits off and runs south. Uh, who wants to roll d12 against me to start this mess? Come here, Will. <laughs> I will. Uh, Three. Ooh, I should. Five. <laughs> Uh, that beats the three. Uh, Nevi points out that he does not think the Southern Spur is a good idea, as that will take you deeper into Crador uh, lands. And while his axe is thirsty for the blood of nine enemies, he feels that your lack of martial abilities here recently uh, might be a hindrance. He suggests continuing east. Sure. <laughs> sure, let's go with the native. Yeah. Continue on? Yeah, we'll continue on. We'll press east. Four hours later, you have bypassed the southern run of the river. Uh, you are on the north side of this river. It is fast. It's like the Missouri or the Mississippi. It is fast, it is wide, uh, and it is littered with rocks. Uh, some of the rocks are irregularly shaped. Go ahead and everybody give me an investigation check, please. Four. <laughs> oh, wait, that investigation. was wrong. That was the wrong guy. Nice. Uh, uh, 14 for Sadar. Wow, Daphne. eight. I'm terrible. I <laughs> Daphne, you're keeping an eye on your six or your flank. Uh, 
uh, ba 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 ba. David, what's your name again? Zadar. Yeah. <laughs> you get yeah. them to get the characters confused, man. Yeah, no. Well, you've got D and D via something. Oh, so okay. Like, there uh, we go. So, uh, Maybe I should change that. <laughs> Zadar and Camille, uh, you guys notice those stones look like they are hewn, possibly from the ruins uh, you guys explored late last night, uh, and they litter this river. Uh, that is about all you know. Camille, with your 20, you can surmise that, I don't know, spring rains or something, maybe even that freaking dragon picked up the rocks and were dropping it on things. Four hours into your journey, uh, everybody give me a perception check. 18. 15 for Nebby. 15 for me. 22 for Zadar. Uh, aside from the bitching of Nebi being hungry, all four of you notice something unusual in the river. Uh, as you look, it glistens almost like a oh, diamond not a would. <laughs> not a body per se. So there is something glittering or glistening in the riverbed. Is it okay. stationary or is it going with the river? Uh, it is stationary against the strong current. Mm. How far would we have to go in to get it out of the bank? I mean, well, you're still a good hundred feet away from it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it's about twenty feet into the water from the bank. Oh, okay. And it is below freezing, right? <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's brisk. It's a brisk day. All right. Um. God, that just piques my curiosity. So, um, how far yeah. away in the river is it? About twenty feet, but you're a hundred feet away. I can probably dry off pretty fast with uh, press digitation, right? I mean, you can dry sure. clothing or fur. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you get close enough, couldn't you use mage hand? Uh, it depends on how heavy it is. So, yeah. There's, if we there's use mage hands together, does it work? Oh, can I even do that? Hands across the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hands across America. Exactly. Uh oh. Help. <laughs> Sorry about that. Am I flying? Uh, uh, is there anything to tie off to with the rope? Three, how close seven. are you guys going to get to this thing? Is this how we die? This is it. End of the game. We're all dead. Well, yeah, Zadar's anticlimactic. Zadar's gonna gonna check it out, but he's gonna take uh, fifty feet of rope and try to tie off somewhere to try to get it. Sure. Uh, there uh, is nothing by the banks that you can tie off to, but as you come about fifty feet close enough to it, uh, you notice two things in particular: uh, a set of timbers have been lashed together, uh, but they have been kind of wedged onto a rock just at the riverbank. Uh, the raft does not look very seaworthy, uh, but it does look like it might be able to handle the rapids. The glistening, glittering object in the water is now moving on long, pointed legs up oh. onto the bank. And as oh, it rises crap. above the water, you notice it is a crystal spider. And it oh. makes a beeline towards you guys. I will take initiative rolls as it speeds across the bank. Lucky 13. Uh, 18 for Zadar. That'd be got an eight. <laughs> uh, I'll roll for Camille. She got a nine. Uh, we will start with the 18, Zadar. The crystal spider is headed towards you. It's unlike most spiders, has an appendage sticking out where the body meets the legs. It almost looks like a turret. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. And this is a glass spider or crystal spider. Crystal spider. You can actually see the blood pumping through it. Okay. Uh, yeah, well... First of all, 
Zadar is going to, uh, yeah. Sorry, on puppy duty. That's okay. That's all right. He is gonna like panic blast it with a fireball. With a fireball? Bolt? No, not oh, fireball. Right. I don't have fireball. <laughs> sure. Okay. Go. Uh, let's see. Seven. Uh, okay, I'm sure 11 doesn't hit it. Uh, not even remotely close. Right. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action uh, for disengage. And, sure. Yeah. So what did I uh, use? Try to uh, take cover. I'm going to warn them. <laughs> you are fighting a giant crystal spider with what looks like it has a turret. Uh, just below its face and above its legs. Uh, you rolled a nine, so you are not going yet. Daphne, the uh, tiefling, you are up. How far away is it from us? Uh, it's about 30 feet and closing fast. Is it in the water or on the ground? It was in the water. It is now on the ground chasing towards you. Hey, my spells are so lame. <laughs> I cast Bless. Right. <clears throat> Nebby and Camille, you start to freak out, and everybody sees uh, the turret shaped thing, which, mm -hmm. as luck would have it, is a turret that shoots shit. Great. Uh, aimed at Camille. Oh, shit. Uh, but with a three, shards of crystals go flying up and over your head. Uh, That's what it shoots? Shooting huh. crystals at you. Oh, man. Uh, crystal light. It's the crystal light dancers. Uh, <laughs> Nebby uh, screams, uh, for the love of frost giants, and charges forward. He will attack in a moment, but Camille has... Uh, the roll with a nine. What would you like to do? So is there anybody in front of me other than the spider? Uh, Nebby will be charging ahead. Zadar was uh, and opted to run. Okay. Hence Wait. why you got targeted most likely. I tell Nebby. Hit the ground! Drop to the ground! And I cast <laughs> Thunder Wave. <clears throat> sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's still that going to catch. That's still going to catch <laughs> Nebby. <laughs> Nebby had an eight. She had a nine. So he has not run past her yet. Mm. Huh. Okay. Uh, okay. What are we doing? Uh, thunder Wave. It's a save for me, isn't it? Uh, yes. Do you have to make a constitution saving throw? Oh, no. Uh, seven plus two, nine. I'm going to take the full brunt of that bitch. Okay, so. The right one. <coughs> so, 2d8 is eight. That's it? Yeah. Eight? That's what it says. 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from me. Oh, no, oh, wait. okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, sorry. Are you sure it's only 2d8? That's that what sound it says. Right. Let's I'm double check those folks. I'm using because... my cards. Yeah, I'm maybe using an app. Maybe it's Pulse Wave that does better. Oh, yeah, Pulse I bet you're right. Probably would, would do better. But, um, huh. Yeah, Pulse Wave is 66. There, okay, that's what I was thinking. Ah, that's okay. Eight hit points. It uh, is knocked back uh, 10 feet. Nebby is already in midair, bringing that big old Frost Giant Kid's axe down to bear. You only get one attack, but he makes it count with a 17. And he really makes it count with 10 hit points damage nice. to it. Uh, but... Let's see if his attack fails and it ricochets. It does not. 
uh, it connects true. Uh, Zadar, round two, you notice two of your associates are engaged. Uh, Daphne has cast Bless on everybody. What would you like to do? Uh, Zadar is going to whirl his hands around and start uh, casting uh, Chromatic Orb. Now keep in mind, uh, Nebby is engaged. Right, right. Ooh. Like married. Yeah. Like he's going to be married. He's going to be married. He's, he's going to be married to the spider. crystal he's spider. The spider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's picking out flowers over there. It's really confusing. <laughs> Yeah, well, that kind of complicates things because everything that I have or that I was going to do, uh, yeah, there's going to be some splash damage. So, Nebby don't care. Nebby is raging. Oh, he's raging. Okay, good to know. So in that case, yes, I am going to go ahead with Chromatic Orb uh, at uh, second level, I think. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, 18 plus 7, does that hit? Uh, 25, yes, 25 hits. Okay, all right, so, uh, 4d8 damage. Uh, okay. what is the damage itself? The damage itself, since he's in its chromatic orb, is going to be thunder damage. So yeah, that's going to, that's going to affect Nebby. That's going to be some splash damage with that, so... Mm -hmm. You can mute the laptop if you want. You don't like hearing the rain? Now I'm hearing my voice as it wow. ricochets from the other room. Now that we've established all the audio is good, it should be fine. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, 22 points of damage. Very nice. Paladin, you're up. Right. Make How it count. How far is it from me now? Yeah, it's about 30 feet still. Jeez, so freaking far. What, what am I supposed to do? Charge. Charge. <laughs> Wait, is it in the water still? No, no it's it in the out. bank. It came out. It's coming at us. Coming right at us. Um, and it hurts when it hits. Yeah. I'm for myself up. I'm going to cast Divine Favor on myself. Mm -hmm. that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, the I don't know. Does Radiance damage even work against it? Isn't it Radiant? <laughs> you don't know. You, know. I don't know. you can try. Uh, this time it's going after number two, Zadar. Uh, 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 we're about to reenact Fury. Okay. Uh, 12 plus 7, 19. Wait, this is like a level 100? Or is this Google search like freaking me out? It's a challenge four. It's it's a challenge four. Okay. 19 hit you? Uh, 19 does hit, but I'm gonna uncanny dodge. So, uh, so it halves the damage. So, sure. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, a really good idea. Oh, uh, damn it, Frank. <laughs> 20, 21 plus 4 is 25, so 12 damage. Out. Okay. 2d12 plus 4, piercing. Uh, oh. That brings us to Camille. Uh, that group of uh, stone went right past you and hit Zadar. Oops. Uh, Camille, you're up. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Pulse wave. Now, keep in mind, Nebby is in the zone. Like right in front of me? Uh, he is fighting the creature, and he has already taken some damage from the chromatic orb. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Rethinking. Recalculating. Um, how about... Can I cast invisibility on myself? Sure. I'll do that. Fair enough. Uh, Nebby, unbeknownst to him, uh, he's standing there toe-to-toe -to -toe with this creature. 
Ooh, with an eight, he swings and misses as it ricochets off its crystalline skin. Zadar, we are back to you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Zadar is going to summon Green Flame Blade, and uh, he's going to make uh, some scimitar attacks on a leg or something, whatever he can get his hands on. Sure. So, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, like that. How many attacks are you going to be making? Uh, two. Two attacks. First okay. one uh, okay. is a problem. Second one is a problem. Uh, both uh -oh. of your attacks will deflect off of the crystal skin. Ooh, okay. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yes. You're, you're going to No take, matter what I roll. <laughs> no matter what you roll, uh, it's only going to take half damage. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So I do hit, uh, so the damage is going to be, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, the first scimitar attack is a nine. Uh, nine points of damage, so I guess that's half of four. No, that's, four. that's not. Uh, let's see, the flame damage is usually what comes next, and that is like a, a D8. Mm-hmm. Uh, four points of additional flame damage. And then got he's it. got his offhand he's going to attack, but of course it's going to miss. Or, yeah, 14 to hit, but... Miss. Yep. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, the flame damage on that is... Yeah, nothing, because it missed. <laughs> Daphne, uh, you're up. All right, it's so far away from me. 30 feet. Yeah, when you sit there and sightsee, it's it's going to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it has missile weapon as its attack. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. All right. I guess I go up to it and attack. Okay. I can still get two attacks when I move, right? Uh, what's your movement? 30. Yeah, I'll give you both attacks. Okay. Should have put it at 31 feet away from you. <laughs> 22 hits. Mm -hmm. 17 is your magic number. All but... right, so I got to roll my D4 for the other one. To hit it. Also, I need to roll for deflection. No. 22 and 17, then. Uh, no, both of those will hit. And I can ex I can use this. I can do divine smite. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> right? Like yep. any okay, cool. Um, all right. So baseline damage. You're gonna need to tell me. What the slashing damage is and what the smite damage is because there is a uh, yeah. <clears throat> problem with the slashing or piercing damage. All right, so there's 17 total for slashing. Okay. I get two D8. One, two. What's my other? Two D8. So obnoxious. Okay. Fourteen radiant damage. That works. Uh, eh, 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 eh. The turn spins. Uh, three. Daphne. Uh, it did not like that, so it was going to shoot at you. What is it looking? What? How is it looking? Eh, 13 plus 7, dirty 20. Obviously, you, you, are, <laughs> you are about to get blasted, my dear. 8 and 10 is 18, plus 4 is 22 damage. And then I do Hellish Rebuke. Mm-hmm. 
We all know how folks come here. Okay. So you can see your decks, right? Um, uh, 12 plus one is only 13. The deck save is 13. No hellish rebuke for it. Uh, all of your flame damage goes off the crystal. Well, no, you get half the damage oh, on okay. a successful roll. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Camille, you are in the bullpen. You can do so it. 22, so 11 damage of fire damage. That works. Flames, look at the creature. Camille, you're up. Okay, so I'm still invisible, so I... Did you say flames lick the creature? Yes, cover over. It still does damage. Yeah, not literally lick the <laughs> 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 nice. see the fire, there's like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> So I knew where happen. your I knew where your mind was going with that. <laughs> they cast Ray of Frost. Okay, give it a shot. Uh, seven. <laughs> Off it goes. Nebby still in the throes of danger. Ah, much better. 15 plus. Uh, his axe swings true. Ooh, nice. Uh, 12 hit points of damage, but does it skitter off? He rings true. It hits top of the order, Zadar. Uh, magic missile. Level two. <laughs> sure. Okay, so four, eight, Eleven, twelve, thirteen points of force damage. Hafty, now it is not looking so hot. I'm still attacking. I'm still near it, right? And go away. Yep. I got a nat twenty, twenty-five. And That's probably going to be the end of that. Damage, damage modifier. And then dirty 20. Oh, what? A 20, so not natural. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I thought you said a dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, well, you guys. Ones are dirty, aren't they? I mean, they, they truly are. So. No, I'm sorry. Damage, damage, and modifier. Yep. Okay, seven, seven, fourteen, twenty damage. That twenty slashing. Will, Wait. Yeah, that, that's gonna do it. Okay. Uh, and then clear. the radiant. Oh yeah, you've you've destroyed it. The crystalline creature shatters and sprays crystalline fragments over all four of you. Oh. Uh, but the creature is destroyed. So is it like glitter, like a glitter bomb? <laughs> Not quite. That would be great. You're just like Because that would suck. <laughs> no, I want to be glitter. You would be covered in glitter constantly. Yeah. Like oh, strippers. man. That's right. Yep. So, yeah. That dandruff, that's glitter. <laughs> Zadar is going to investigate this thing. Uh, turret on it? I mean... Well, it shattered. It I, shattered. It, it, so it, there's it, nothing it, left. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. like a it's like a figurine has been destroyed. So, so there's oh, just pieces of it everywhere. Is worth anything? Gotcha. You don't know. Well, I pick up a couple chunks to take with me. Okay. If it is crystal, I mean, it's a component and other things. So. Daphne, what are you doing? There's, I don't know. There's nothing from it. No weapon. Nope, no weapons. Just crystal fragments? Yep. Yep, it's crystal light. So. How big are these crystal fragments? They range. Uh, some are large shards the size of your fist. Some are the size of your fingernail. Are they any cool shapes? Uh, they're sharp. 
So everybody who picks up the shards needs to roll a d20. <laughs> Do we not have gloves? Oh, Wait, eight. don't you have mittens? Three. I thought one of you know. has mittens. Waiting for the mittens. Are the mittens done now? Do we take them to the person? No, I think she made mittens for Camille before we left. Oh, yeah, right. I don't know if they ever got made though. I was supposed to like bring them somewhere. No, they magically I magically mailed them off with the postal pigeon. I just, anyway. And I the postal three. pigeon brought it back. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Nebby points out there's bodies in the river. Oh shit! Okay. Fresh. Alive or dead? You don't know. You haven't investigated yet. Um, can I cast divine sense? Sure. And it says there's no the... undead aberration, none of that around. So, okay, so for sixty feet, I can see celestial fiend and undead. Yep, none of that. All right. Well, they're not uh, undead, so they could just be dead. That's true. <laughs> uh, Nebby is, is down on the bank pulling the painted warriors out. Uh, as he does so, he spits on them. They are Krator, after all. Uh, everybody roll perception check. Please. Wait, are the ones from last time in the mountains? Uh -huh. Different ones, but yeah. Different ones, but yeah. They have clothes on them? So they a have lot like of a Wow, I got, I got, wait, sorry, what are we doing? Perception. Oh, with two? 16 for Camille. Got a nat one. Uh, There's bodies. I don't see them. I think 30, 30, 20 for Zadar. Uh, Zadar and Camille, uh, as you watch uh, the crater being flung away from the raft, uh, you turn around and see, how many did I say? Five crystal spiders coming out of the uh, tree line headed Ooh. for you. I say we get on that raft and go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't want a crystal spider pet? D12 against me, Zadar. <clears throat> Five. <gasps> that would be so Great. cute. You could Great. have them as like earrings and then they like come on. Except they're large creatures. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Like... Uh, Nebby refuses to get on the raft because this is a Krator raft and he will not uh, sublime himself. I'm All right, then we'll leave him. Well, I mean, you can fight the spiders yourself, but we're going. <laughs> Nebby will get on the raft. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm fine. Everybody Good choice, Nebby. Everybody D20 to get on the raft in the freezing water. Just straight up D20? Yep. yep. 13, Seven. 18. All right, we're Nine. Uh, Camille and Daphne, you seem to have your own problems getting on the raft. Uh, your feet get a little bit wet, but you are on the raft. Uh, once you guys use Nebby's great axe to push off from the bank you are amazed at how fast this raft is going uh you completely expect your eyeballs to go popping out of your head because you are going right around 20 miles an hour oh. i you don't think anything has ever gone this fast the cold wind and the spray as water hits the rocks and sprays up to you has somebody who's going to use that great axe to steer us <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we're gonna oh. die. Ne oh. Nebby's like, uh, is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Uh, do you know how to do that? <laughs> Everybody, roll perception. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zadar perception. 14. Uh, twenty-six for Zadar. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, as Camille hangs on for dear life, you notice a veritable minefield of sharp, jagged rocks lies ahead. Uh, who is going is to... Is our raft like plastic or something? It's uh, hewn logs lashed together, but wow. not in very good shape. Uh, it is Krator, after there, all. Uh, there were no push push 
uh, poles or anything like that on this thing. Mm -mm. Mm. Floated away. Uh, who wants to roll for Nebby as he tries to angle his great battle axe so he doesn't hit these things? My rolls have not been good. Uh, How about since there's three of them, each one of you roll? I'll give you a survival roll. A D12? Roll. A, a D12 or survival roll? Sur survival roll, D20. Okay. Uh, Are you rolling? Survival. survival. Uh, 10 for Zadar. 15. Mm -hmm. 11. Good boy, anyway. uh, Daphne and Zadar, as you guys are all shouting out, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, Nebby gets confused. Uh, Camille, your yell is uh, true to form, but it depends on who gets heard first. <laughs> Camille gets hurt first. So as you pass the first row of stones, uh, Nebby hits the eye of the needle and gets through. Uh, odds, Zadar, even Daphne, not that it matters. Uh, Zadar, you are up next with a 10. Uh, everybody make a deck save as one of the logs careens into one of the stones. Oh, okay. Yikes. Uh... Well, it's Dex, so uh, 23 for Zadar. 12. When am I doing Dex? Dex. We have a tornado watch morning. Um. Wait, just straight up Dex? 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. All three of you managed to hang on, although Camille almost loses her balance being the shortest one. Uh, last up is Daphne in the tumult of your travel down this rapid section. Uh, he can barely hear you, so Nebby makes his best guess, as Spock would say. Everybody re-roll your deck saves. Really? 12 again. 22 for Zadar this time. He's the rogue. Uh, Camille, again, barely hangs on, and the raft has taken two direct hits uh, for nominal damage, as luck would have it. Uh, you get through the rock-strewn passage, and you're... Uh, you are at an amusement park, and you can feel that you're going a little bit lower. Uh, once past the rocks, the water... Uh, slows down somewhat, not a lot, because it's still a very powerful river. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can see the crystal spiders were giving chase. Uh, they have shot their little turret things in, not even remotely close, and they have stopped their pursuit. Uh, you will travel four more hours, and it starts to get dark. Uh, would you like for Nebby to steer to one of the banks uh, to make camp? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Or... Is this like the Sandra Bullock movie? Do we need to just keep going and keep our eyes closed? Yeah, bird box. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, oh, you, you, you will be traveling in the dark if you do that. Oh, yeah, true. probably not. That didn't work out well for Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Just, uh... <laughs> I guess we better pull over. Now will we? We're gonna pull over. Who wants um, to make the survival check to see if he can land you successfully? Why don't you make it for us? Okay. Uh, so yeah, survival sixteen. Okay. Uh, he pulls off to the odd even. Uh, south side of the riverbank. Okay. Uh, to a spot he thinks is safe. Uh. Let's see if he beaches it correctly. Yeah, he drags that raft up there and he ponders the feasibility of continuing to use the raft as it has right. suffered some damage. He will ask if he can use some of the rope to try and fix it. Uh, he also points out that there is a small herd of game just ahead. Uh, I need one of you to help him. The other two need to go out and stock food. Water is not going to be a problem. 
I'll help uh, him. I was gonna say, okay. Oh man, you're gonna leave Camille and Zadar to let uh, the squishies handle the food. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Daphne, go ahead and roll the. Uh, will you survival check again? Let's see if he gets it right. Oh man. 21. Nat 20. Uh, you, you do the, the finger on the knot for him in several locations, and he manages to secure the raft. Uh, Camille, Zadar, uh, you are sneaking up on, I don't know, maybe deer. It's kind of what they look like. You're not really sure. Uh, okay. They're deer, and they have six legs. Uh, okay. Zadar. Drumstick for everybody. Knocks his crossbow and kind of braces himself, and he's going to use the wait. steady aim action. Wait, it's a wait, rogue wait, thing now. Wait, wait. Uh, oh, How okay. How far away from we they are we? Yeah. Uh, you managed to climb up within twenty feet of them. I cast web on them. Mm. Uh, we're going to coup de gras these people. <laughs> Not people. Here. <laughs> uh, give me a D four. That is unanticipated. Uh, I'll let you catch four of them in the web. I caught them, Zadar. You knock them off. Uh, okay. Two got away. Oh, damn it. Okay. But these are deer. They're like a whole thing. So, you know, it's more than enough to feed the three of us. So, four of us. Sorry. <laughs> so, you're going to coup de gras two of them? Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. At least. So. Uh, straight up D20s on both. Okay. <clears throat> uh, net 20 for one. And uh, yeah, a four for the other. <laughs> uh, the four is going to cost you. No, I just got some. Uh, you cut the web and it is going to escape. Uh, the net 20, though, uh, you cut it so that if you want to put the head as a trophy, you could. These things have four sets of little nubby antlers on them and six legs. Okay. Six legs? Yep. Wow. Okay. They are probably very fast, and as the others escape, they are very fast. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zadar is going to pull out his fillet knife, and yeah, I'll... Do my best to butcher this thing instead of trying to carry the whole thing, right? Sure. Wouldn't that be the Very prudent thing, thing to do? Sure. Uh, give me a perform or not performance. Give me a nature roll. Okay. You gotta uh, like open it up and go inside it and pretend you are it. Yeah, <laughs> like Luke. Oh, I thought these things smell bad on the outside. Sorry, uh, Daphne, you aren't there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen for nature. Yes, you are able to butcher it nicely. Uh, you cut off the drumsticks, essentially. Uh, okay. Are you, are you taking the head as a trophy? Yeah, I'm going to take it back for Nebby. <laughs> Look! <laughs> yeah. uh, when you return, but I'm a chick, so it'd be like... <laughs> when it, he announces that they are Mizu. Mizu, it is. Hopefully that, that doesn't mean what, sacred. <laughs> that's, what the cre that's what the creature is. They are Mizu. Oh, okay. Okay. Good eating. The anus tastes great. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> He's a barbarian, man. What'd you expect him to say? Oh man, man. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, uh, every, everybody, <laughs> Constitution check. Uh, just a straight up D twenty roll. Let's see how you like the food. Uh, well. Well, mediocre. All of you rolling? Six. Uh, Camille, you do not like it at all. Uh, Zadar and Daphne, uh, it's there. It's gamey. Uh, strangely, Nebby does not like it either. Okay. Maybe they were old. He asks, uh, was it scared when you killed it? Uh, probably. Uh, we have a saying, you must kill it kosher. Kill it mm. kosher. Okay. Got I'll it. know that for next time. Yeah. That's right. Gotta kill it kosher. Uh, who wants to take first, second, and third watch? 
Uh, yeah, you called it. Okay, Zadar will take second watch. Or Camille, would you rather second watch? Or I don't care. Oh, uh, I'm probably gonna be puking this up anyway. I'll take third watch. <laughs> you you go you go second. So Daphne, Nothing. Camille, same thing. Nothing. Uh, nothing for Zadar either. The night passes the uneventfully. Nice. Okay. Dice given, dice taken away, man. <laughs> we're either dying or we're fine. Uh, right. Everybody's uh, nature roll. Uh, 20, not natural. 18. Ooh, 7. I don't think I've ever done a nature roll before. <laughs> Camille and Zadar, you notice that the mountains you had scaled yesterday are way off in the distance. Uh, and you surmise that river travel might be the way to go, assuming there are no more rocks. Uh, you also note that if you travel by land, the likelihood of an encounter is present. Uh, however, uh, it is up to you. Does Nevi uh, know anything about the terrain around here? Nevi has never been to this side of the land at all. He is fucking clueless. I say we use the river. Yeah, we'll use the river. D12 against me, somebody. I will. You oh, want to do it? You sure? <sighs> Are you sure? Nine. No, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, who's calling it? Because I got a good one. Four. Uh, <laughs> Mine was 11. Five rocks must be successfully navigated. The one who will roll twice is six. Daphne. Uh, so. Wait, I got to roll twice? Wait a minute. I think two of you have to roll. Right? Five. Yeah. So the other person is three. Uh, Camille roll once, Zadar roll twice, Daphne roll twice, but first one up is a two. Camille, make your roll. 20. <laughs> D20. 13. Odd even. Five odd, Zadar, your roll. Okay, uh, with that, I am, uh, let's see, uh, 18. Even. Daphne. What am I rolling? D20. Twice? Once, this time. Okay. Wow, three. That's terrible. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> rolled dexterity at disadvantage. Uh, Yay! Oh. Really like a dex save? Dex save at disadvantage. Four. Fourteen? Oh. Man, I had a 22. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Ten for Zadar. Uh, good news, Daphne. You have stayed aboard the ship, even though it has taken a direct hit. As you look around, Nebby is waterlogged, spitting, uh, and confused, and that's all that's on the vessel. The vessel. On the so, vessel. Nuclear vessel. Check off and say, uh, Daphne, make your last roll. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, good die. All right, I rolled a different die to think it would be better, but it's a three again. At disadvantage, Dex. Oh, Tra, yeah, roll one more. Roll, I, all right. It's at disadvantage. I mean, there's well, a possibility that it was an 18, of a one. So. <laughs> yeah, three. <laughs> so you're still on there? Did you roll twice? Yeah, I got okay. a three and an 18. Oh, so you're off too. Uh, as is Nebby. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, Camille and Zadar, you take four hit points of damage the first right, time. Die. 
Uh, the second time, everybody takes ooh, 13. Son of a bitch. Now, keep in mind, you did have a full night's rest, so you should have been full. Uh, okay. So, Zadar took what? Four points? 13. 13. Yeah. And four. 17. And four. Okay. Uh, and Zadar, make your last roll for the raft. <laughs> so uh that would be a 14. Uh oh, Django. Uh the raft makes it through the last set of stones and goes off. And Nebby, as the water keeps coming up, everybody has to roll a survival check or they're taking more damage. Okay. Survival, all of us? Yep, and Nebby fails and takes six more. Yeah. Well, Zadar, uh, survival. 20, yeah. not natural. Take Have no damage, seen? Camille. No damage, Daphne. Uh, six damage, Zadar. Okay. Uh, Camille and Daphne, you manage to move to the side of the river, the south side of the river. Uh, Zadar and Nebi need to make another survival roll. Nebi fails again, taking seven damage. Wow. Uh, Zadar is uh, 15. Uh, you managed to make it to one side of the river. Even, same side, the south side. Another roll for Nebi. Nebby has stopped struggling. Oh. Oh. And he is floating down the river in current, bashing into rocks as he oh. goes. Oh, no. That was a one. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> he is possibly bad off. He is bad off. Uh, as you guys sputter and spit water, your associate is zipping down the river trailing behind the boat you also see his beloved axe oh. still stuck in the boat uh, oh it's it, in the boat yeah well he fastened it to use it as a uh a guidance item uh, and it is still lashed in there uh the boat and the body of nebby uh, go very fast down the current. Uh, oh, you can no. give chase, but you will not catch him. Mm. Rest uh, in peace, Nebby. <laughs> Zadar will, will make a futile chase, but eventually give up. <laughs> you can see him, his body racks as he continues to hit stones in the oh. river. So how far Poor away guy. are they? Probably 200 feet by now. No. Yeah. What, what were you going to do? Uh, I thought maybe I could cast web on him and we could pull him in, but no. yeah, yeah, that's only 60 no. feet. No. Yeah, he is gone. Uh, who wants to be 12 against me? Not me. Uh, uh 11. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, uh, uh oh. Is it another one of those Dave rolls high and it's bad? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, you, uh, you've been traveling a while when you uh -huh. hit these stones, uh, and it's late afternoon. Oh, boy. Uh, you are wet, soaking wet, because you've been in the drink. Uh, yeah. You have no boat. You have no backup. Uh, right. And any supplies that you had, probably on the boat. Gone. Probably on the boat. Oh, shit. Okay. What you want to do? Uh, we should probably take a rest. Uh, yeah, we'll try to seek shelter or, you know, something to shelter you, behind. You, you can go into the tree line. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Unless go into the tree spiders. line. Go into the tree line, set up camp. Who, uh, who wants first, second, third launch? I'll take first. Mm -hmm. who, wants, who wants second or third? 
Um, I'll take second. Wait, what so, did Zanara have last last time? Do you want to switch? Should you do second? I don't know. Uh, I'll take third watch. It's okay. no problem. Camille. Nothing. Daphne. It starts to snow. Oh. Ah! Roll a d6 for me, please. Four inches, I guess. Four inches fall during your camp. <laughs> Zadar, roll no. me a d6. Uh, all right. Three. Seven inches of fresh snowpack have fallen. I roll a three and it's seven inches of snowpack. <laughs> well, she rolled a four. Oh, okay. Got it. Now yeah. it makes sense. I was okay. like, right. dude, I'm only yep. three feet tall. Yep. Uh, it's going to be slow going. Uh, the conifer trees here are coated. Uh, everything is pristine in the morning. Uh, who wants to roll against me? D12. I'll do it. Okay. Eight. Wow, five. Roll a D six. Wow, five. What is happening? Well, it looks like there's a foot of snow on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so so Camille is like this right now. Yeah. Uh, she will have to walk behind you two. Yeah. Uh, foot of I snow do, has like, fallen. I have fire or something. Can I just do that? I would I'm sure to set a fire bolt through and uh, follow it. Uh, are you going to continue to follow the river or go deeper into the woods? Do we see any trails in the woods? Uh, you see snowpack with uh, giant rabbit jackalope tracks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, okay. Rule, rule of thumb is, you know, a water rule source a like this. That's right. Well, you know, we might eventually go. run into something, right. a settlement or something. I guess we so, follow the river. Yeah. Fair enough. You go back out onto the river. Uh, everybody, perception checks. Uh, perception. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, same for Zadar, 21. Eight. Daphne, you don't notice shit. I never uh, notice anything. Zadar and Camille, uh, as you trudge further down the river, you notice A. Uh, miscellaneous tracks of woodland creatures probably coming out to get their morning drink of water uh, since they don't have coffee or tea here. Pastors. And Camille and Zadar, you hear an unusual whistling noise in the uh, low hanging clouds above you. Okay. Uh, strange whistling noise? Mm -hmm. It'd be like air moving over something like wings. Maybe we need to head for the tree line. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Uh, there's a lot of fog because, uh, let's see, Daphne, you rolled last time. Camille, D12 against me. Six. Uh, one more time. Eleven. Four. Uh, the snow has stopped falling. A heavy fog has set in. Uh, that might play to your strengths. Uh, it might not. Uh, if it is an aggressor above you, the likelihood of them seeing you uh, is as likely as you seeing them. It's up to you. So you can maintain your distance on the river or go into the tree line. Uh, let's just keep going on the river. Yeah. Uh, Zadar and Camille, since you heard it, give me another perception check. Uh, for Zadar, let's see. Perception. 15. Uh, 22 for Zadar. It seems like it's moving off okay 
that's the noise you hear as she fans it into the microphone. It is. <laughs> okay. So wow. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys proceed. It is top of the morning, day eleven. Top of the morning to you. By midday. So. Uh, who wants to roll D twelve against me? Uh, I will. The nine. Uh, six. Uh, the fog remains. Okay. Uh, you can see dark shadows moving along the tree line, possibly bears, maybe wolves, uh, but they either do not notice you or do not wish to engage at this time. Would you like to move into the tree line and engage them? Mm, fuck no. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> uh, even with the heavy fog, you can tell that uh, you've been traveling for quite a while and you will need to rest again as it okay. appears as though night is falling. Who wants first, second, and third? I'll go first. Uh, Zadar will take third again. Camille! Nothing. Uh, Daphne. Nothing. Maybe we'll Zidar. have a heat wave and everything will melt. Nothing. Uh, okay. The fog has lifted uh, the next morning. Uh, were you guys camped in the tree line again or by the river? Tree line. Tree line I would think. It does yeah. not appear as though any new additional snowpack is there. Uh, however, everybody perception check. Uh, 18 for Sadar. Eight. <laughs> Ooh, um, five. Uh, Zadar, you notice a family of giant badgers, and considering you guys don't have any food... Yeah. Time to sorry, eat. Sorry to break up a family. <laughs> I was say, but it's a family. <laughs> uh, there, there, there are five of them. Uh, Zadar, do you want to alert these other two? Uh, yeah, I'll alert these other two and tell them. And okay. said, Look, there's food. <laughs> uh, there's a badger family moving about. And they're giant badgers, so we got a little bit more meat on them. So How that's big is a giant badger? Uh, size of a Rottweiler. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might be a little tough to fight. So we should nap but you guys didn't get to eat yesterday. So, so we should nap with yeah. the babies. Uh, they're all about the same size. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, we'll position to to engage. <laughs> are, are are each one of you going after the same one, or are you going after different ones? Yeah, we'll we'll kind of pack tactics and uh, take one out. Sure. You know, Zadar will, will point for one. So. so Camille, are are you going after the same one that Zdar does? Yes, I suppose. Daphne, are you going after the same one that Zdar does? Yeah. You guys will all attack pretty much at the same time, uh, and you will get first strike. So go ahead. All of us? You're all attacking about the same time. Uh, okay, so... I assume it's lethal weapon. One, two, three, and th then we go, or one, so two, and three, eight. three, and go. <laughs> eight does not hit. Okay. Fourteen or six. <laughs> Fourteen <laughs> hits. Okay. Yeah, Zadar rolls the same thing. Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Okay. Eight damage. Okay. All right. Uh, Zadar, his damage will be. Uh, let's see. We're striking. Uh, 11 points, uh, slashing damage. Ooh, Zadar cuts it in half uh, with the damage already done by Daphne, uh, and the rest of them scurry. Everybody beat me on a straight-up D20 roll to see if you get to attack. Uh, Camille will be the green one. Green is a 12. Uh, that is a 19. Three. Daphne? Sorry, what? <laughs> Straight up D20. Okay, where am I? Uh, 
Uh, the rest of the fucking Wolverines uh, head for cover. Wolverines now? Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Badgers. Badgers. <laughs> hey. uh, they take hey. off. Uh, Zadar and Daphne, you did an exuberant amount of damage, taking out uh, some of the vital organs. Uh, Zadar, percentage roll for me, please. Oh, Lord. Here we go again. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. Um, 47. You each get 47% of what you need uh, to recover. So each of you will be attacking at minus one to, okay. for the rest of the day until you get a solid meal. Right. Uh, you continue on, I assume? Uh, yes. This is the start of the morning, correct? I think so, yes. Uh, you travel three hours. Caribou. Uh, there's a herd of caribou on the far side of the river. On the far side across the river? Yeah. I'm not going to cross the river. <laughs> okay. I mean, as much as we need the food, I mean, the chances of dying in the river are greater. So It's true. Uh, you guys are all depleted. You are not feeling great. You're starving. Uh, and night is falling once again. Is this like naked and afraid? Are there bugs everywhere? It's naked and afraid, but you got clothes, mm -hmm. so you're cold and afraid. We're cold uh, and afraid. First, second, and third. First. Yeah, what you going to do is... Okay, Sadar will do third. Camille. Uh-oh. Give me a oh. D6. Three. Three more inches. Camille or Daphne. Uh oh. D6. Daphne. What? D6. <laughs> there we go. D6. Roll a D6. All right. Which one will roll low? So many days. And I never know. Uh, there are nothing happens okay uh you wake early in the morning with your stomachs growling you're dirty you're cold you're not feeling well everybody give me constitution checks oh okay uh, Zadar, uh, rolled 12. 14. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just six. Minus two on all of your rolls today, Me? Daphne. Yep. Oh. Uh, who wants to D12 to see if there's any game here? Oh, I uh, know. Okay. Four. Twelve. Uh, you track some game, some small game. Can and I convince to them going, to hop into my bag? <laughs> yeah, it seems to be going into the wood line, or the tree line, rather. Or you can press ahead. Everybody roll perception. Can I have uh, negative two on this? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Fifteen. Seven. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, see. twelve. <sighs> just this thing that looks like turkey tracks. Okay. All right, guys. So, what are we doing? Can we continue on, or do we really need food? We really need food. All so. right. So, I guess we got to follow the turkeys. Yep. Uh, it looks like a big turkey, uh, and it's waddling towards the wood line. Uh, you guys are only going to get one shot at it, and you have to use range because it's uh, 30 feet away. I okay. don't have that. Uh, Zadar does. Camille should have magic missile as well. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I have that. Yep. 
Yeah. Daphne's so. shooting up minus two. She might as well just drown herself now. <laughs> this is literally the end. Is this how we all die? This how you <laughs> we starve to death. Starve to death. You guys are the Donner, pa- right. Dar- Donner party. Uh, Zadar will fire a magic missile it. at it. Sure. Okay. Only first level. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is this three. One. Three times. Plus, uh, sorry, um, seven plus three, ten points of force damage. Camille? Uh, I will also do magic missile. Okay. I don't know what the stats are because I can't, there it is. To me, magic missile is always like a sad firework for some reason. That's like, <laughs> but it always hits. <laughs> Damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the giant turkey wounded charges into the tree line and disappears from sight. Oh. But it's wounded, so it's probably bleeding. We can probably find it. Yeah. Force damage, not bleeding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew I should have sniped it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Another starving. Starving. You guys are not feeling so hot. Well, I uh, needed to lose some weight anyway. Uh, you travel for the rest of the day, and there is nothing in this bleak woods, not even birds that you can see. Time Please. to make camp one more time as you trudge through 17 inches of snow. Oh, gosh. Who's, who's first, second, and third? I'll do first so I can pass out. Yeah, it is. The dar will do third. Camille, nothing. Oh, God. Daphne, nothing. E6, Zadar. It's oh, beginning to snow again. Oh, gosh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 23 inches of snow have what? fallen. Can I, like, get a piggyback ride? Yeah, you probably are. <laughs> it is pretty bad out there. Uh, good news is, with that additional snowfall, there ain't nothing moving on day 13. Uh, it is cold. It is quiet. The only thing you hear is the rush of the water. Uh, your stomachs and everybody's getting a little bit edgy everybody con check oh okay Twelve. uh 14 for sadar daphne you can do it Am I still negative two on these rolls? And what is this con- constitution? Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, five. <laughs> Minus three on your rolls as the tiefling is really suffering. Uh, you can tell her skin is becoming ashen and she is not doing well. Oh, and my no. vibrant red skin is not Maybe there. we should try to catch some fish for her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We could try to fish the river if it's fishable. So, are you going to try and fish, or you keep trudging ahead, hoping that you'll find civilization at some point in time? It's up to you guys. I mean, if we keep going, Daphne, you know. what do you want to do? Uh, not die, apparently. Correct. But would you like to have some sushi right now, or do you want to keep going? We'd like some hot chocolate. I guess we keep going then. Uh, you trudge yeah. forward about noon. Uh, and you know what? I didn't have you guys. Yeah, I, I had you guys roll. Uh, mm-hmm. About noon, the fog lifts. Uh, some sunlight filters through the high clouds. The whirling noise has not been heard again. Uh, uh-huh. Everybody perception check. Daphne, all your rolls are at minus three as you trudge along. 
knowing that this is how it ends. <laughs> My beautiful friend, 18. 10 for Zadar. Wait, what am I rolling? Perception minus three. Maybe the sun will start to melt stuff. Mm, we sure. can help. <laughs> Twelve. Camille, uh, there are several logs on the far side of the river. Uh, some of them seem to have rope attached to them. Okay. Give me a arcana check. That's probably a raft. <laughs> Plus six. So, what's sixteen plus six? 20. Twenty-two. That's Two. your raft. Yep. Oh. There seems to be a log missing. Uh, a quick survey of the riverbank shows no signs of a body. Okay. So, how fast is the water? Oh, still fast. Still fast. With our condition and all that, not gonna survive the river. So. No. Press forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Four hours later, your stomachs are aching. Uh, your mind is starting to wander. The only thing you've had is river water to drink. Very little food. Uh, everybody roll perception. Daphne's still at minus three. Uh, yep. Just gonna... <laughs> 14 to exist. Wait, what is this perception again? 12 mm -hmm. Uh 18 for Zadar. Uh, Zadar, there's tracks in the snow. Okay. Uh, I'll investigate the tracks. Uh, it looks like some creature has dragged itself towards the river and then it came from the riverbank. So it went in and then went back? No, it looks like it's ahead of you and dragged itself towards the river. Oh, but it, oh okay. But it's only one set of tracks, so you can't tell if it followed the same path or not. Uh, humanoid? Bipedal? It's made a trench. It's made a trench. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll follow it. Let's see. Or Sadar will. I mean, if the others want to I'll follow. Yeah. I just need a Snickers bar. Yeah. Uh, you, tra you travel one more hour uh, and you catch up to whatever this thing is. Uh, it's partially covered in snow. It looks like it's made of, like, dug into the snow here. Okay. I take Sadar's... my supporter staff and poke it. You hear a groan. Oh. Okay. So uh, I go forward and is it humanoid? It's wearing boots that are fairly familiar. Oh, oh, oh man, it's maybe all right. I so yeah, him. we it's... we take him out of the snow and yeah. Nebby is now missing an eye. <gasps> oh shit! Most of his skin has started to rot. Uh, and oh. he appears to have a fractured arm. Hence Just the... doing him? Have you seen those like Happy Tree Friends videos where like the most graphic things happen? Like I feel like that's him. Like he's like la 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 la, and then just like. Nebby is on death's door. Good. Uh, he is going to need you to carry him oh. because he cannot move. Can't our person heal him a little bit? I mean. You can, but he's also suffering from exhaustion, much like Daphne, who oh, can right. barely focus at this point in time. I mean, if you can Daphne only wants interest. to save him, I mean, he's kind of That like... eye is gone. Right. It's my eye. Daphne, do you want to try and heal him? Do I want to? Like, do I roll to make sure I actually want to see this? I don't care. 
It's up to you. Um, I mean, sure. He can have cure wounds. He's not going to get anything else fancy. Are we going to go uh, to sleep again? Well, let's it's see getting, what this does. <laughs> it's getting late. All right. I mean, I guess I can give him expel some of my lay on hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys are going to have to carry him. Need? I don't know. Oh, he needs a lot. <laughs> like, I don't know what's his health normally. Uh, about 23. Alright, so I can give him like 15. Like you can, 15? but he's still going to be worthless. Well, yeah. Yeah. Between the exhaustion, the loss of the eye, and the fractured bones. Alright, he gets 15. Nevi's lucky to be alive, and actually, had I not rolled a nat 20, I was going to kill him. So... <gasps> Uh, you guys travel at about another hour or so, mm -hmm. and it's time to make camp. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And we'll... First, second, and third? First. Second or third, Death? Second. second. Okay. Zadar will take third. Camille, roll a d6. Oh, fuck me. I mean, you really asking? No, i <laughs> One. Oh, that's not bad. I walk out. Daphne. <laughs> Roll. Roll what? D6. D6. Also a negative three? Nope. Uh, that's not fair. Plus, this is environmental. <laughs> well, it's a three, so it should be minus three, so it should be zero. Yeah. Zadar. D6. Oh shit! Okay. Three sixes in a row. This is bullshit. Five. Uh, give me a perception check or uh, investigation check, Sadar. Uh, investigation. Uh, yeah. uh, fifteen plus seven. So yeah. Something's moving outside the ring. Uh oh. The ring. The ring of your camp. 32 inches have fallen. Nebi has not stirred. Uh, you can hear him make strange noises. He is not doing well. Uh, Zadar, something's moving around the perimeter. Okay. I alert them, say something. something's moving in. So, uh, yeah. So I wake up and say, for the love of God, if you're here to kill us, just do it. <laughs> the crunch of snow can be heard as at least one creature moves closer. Uh, in the early rays of the morning on day 15, two figures appear. You see a wolf's head and a bear head. Oh. Okay. Everybody give me perception. Am I still minus three? Am I okay now? <laughs> You're still minus three. Really? But I have a one. Uh, perception for Zadar is um, 14. 14 for me as well. Everybody roll your constitution check for day 15. Okay. Oh, wait, no, minus three, so 16. What yeah, 16. Zadar? Uh, Zadar is 12. Uh, Zadar is at minus one. Daphne, still at minus three. Camille, still no change. Zadar, you notice there's no way a bear and a wolf work together. They work together, yeah. Maybe they do. And as the creatures come in, as Camille tips her head back, just begging for death, and Daphne's head swims. That are you notice two barbarians? Wait, do I not get money like money back? Money. <laughs> yeah. Points what? back? No. Points yeah. back. You get your travel miles. <laughs> you haven't, you haven't eaten. You don't, you don't get shit. Uh, Wait, I'm still minus three, even though I rolled fine. Yeah, you didn't suffer any additional. Uh, two barbarians enter. Behind you, two more appear. Sure, Karen. And on either side of you, sure, two more barbarians. Uh, it's kind of a mix between three wolves and three bears. 
Uh, they are wearing heavy pelts and cloaks, and they are wearing strange shoes that are somewhat circular and woven with some kind of leather or entrails, allowing them to stand atop of the snow. Right. Okay. And I say, fuck you guys, just kill us now. <laughs> they, Nebby still cannot talk. They address Camille. <laughs> Why you want to die? Isn't that what you're here for? We did not know you were here. Okay, do you have any food? Yes. Can we have some? <laughs> Are you friend or foe? Uh, at this point, I'll be anything you want me to be. <laughs> oh. Hookers! <laughs> Hookers. Yeah. Hookers and blow! <laughs> uh, give me a persuasion check, Camille. Oh, Lord. Yeah, because right now is a great time. Uh, Better than Daphne's rolls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Twelve. Yeah, they'll give you some food. They'll give you some jerky. Thank you. Uh, they, they're starting to look over Nebby. Do you eat him? No, no. he was injured. <laughs> no eye. We're trying to help him. We're trying to get somewhere. Uh, river, rocks, raft, fall apart. You go in the river, hit rocks. The glass spiders. <laughs> Who wants to do 12 against me? Not me. <laughs> I'm eating jerky. All right. So I'll be 12 against you. 12. Uh-oh. <laughs> Three. Uh, the one looking at you, Zadar. Uh-oh. Produces an axe that's very familiar with you. You lose weapon? Yes, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> I ask, who? Oh, oh, oh. He, he, he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we We're will, not going to argue. <laughs> we will take you to our camp. Zadar points out, good weapon. Very good weapon. Can I ask a question? Sure, lady. Do any of you know Auric the Stinky? Yes. <laughs> Can we go um, see him? We've been yes. looking for him. Are you with the other ones? What other ones? Other strangers? Uh, it's just us. It's possible. Uh, do they look kind of like us? Smaller? No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Uh, they will lead you. They will help you. Uh, do I get Daph a back? Do I get a, a ride? A piggyback ride? <laughs> Persuade one of them. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, oh, damn. Eight. You walk. Uh -huh. We have to carry your friend. Uh, yeah. They pull out some heavy duty uh, skins. Mm -hmm. A litter for them. Four of them are carrying them. One's in front, one's behind you guys. Uh, and you can follow the trail that they made. They're like Bantha tracks because they walk in single file. Right. Uh, you guys are going to travel three hours. Uh, the jerky is helping uh, mm -hmm. Daphne, Camille, and, and Zadar. Uh, Nebby is taken to moaning a lot and lamenting the loss of his eye. Yeah. After three hours uh, of cutting through the woods, uh, you notice you are on the outskirts of a, I'll say village. Uh, there are a lot of hewn log cabins here. Uh, people are milling about. They're cooking stew. They're cooking <sighs> venison. They're doing tanning work. <sighs> Uh, they're doing weaving work. Uh, the snow has been packed down a great deal. This is urban, to say the least. Is there uh, coffee? Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, 
you guys are led through town. Uh, the barbarians that live here are looking at you kind of puzzled. Uh, mm -hmm. They see Nebi. Uh, they're equally puzzled. They do not harass you. They do not go after you. They see you and continue about their business. Uh, you are going down into a small valley where a plethora of these log cabins are at. One in the center is very large. One next to it is larger than the other buildings, but slightly smaller. Uh, everybody give me a religion check. Still at minus three, Daphne. Uh, religion? Yep. Uh, Ten. Let's see. Religion, religion, religion. Uh, yeah, uh, 13 for Zadar. 14. None of you recognize anything. Uh, who wants to odd even the role for me? Go mean? on, Camille. <laughs> All right. Give it a shot, because you talking got us here. So. so what am I doing? Odd or even. That's all I need to know. Even. Uh, they lead you to the large structure. It's probably three levels high. Uh, the timbers that have made it are, are damn near precise. Uh, this place has taken a great deal of effort to build, uh, and it's almost in the shape of a tower. As you go in, uh, the interior of it is almost wide open. Uh, stairs lead up to the second tier. Stairs there lead up to the third tier. The third tier itself seems to have a roof, but uh, in the center of the building is a huge fire, and the smoke rises up through it. Uh, you surmise that the third floor is maybe personal quarters. Uh, as you walk in, a strange set of graven or uh, carved wooden creatures are there. Uh, one is a wolf, one is a bear, uh, and they sit on either side of a large polished slab of wood. This looks like a church. Uh, a couple of individuals dressed in heavy skins uh, with kind of tattooing on their head, uh, come up, uh, they speak in a different language with the hunters that found you. They plop Nebby down who moans loudly. Uh, Daphne, uh, I am still hungry. Uh, <laughs> I'm still hungry? Yeah, yeah you're still the, hungry. Yeah. Uh, the two guys with the tattoos look, look around. Uh, okay. The guy that found you and talked to you says, uh, the shamans will take care of you. We will go find Oric. Uh, thank, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Sadar, yeah, thanks them. You guys, you guys are given spiced ale uh, and some food. Go ahead and give me constitution checks to see how you like it. get 20. Uh, I love it. And I go yeah. sit in front of the fire and fall asleep. <laughs> 16 for Sadar. <laughs> Daphne? Wait, what am I rolling? Constitution. Uh, still minus three? Still minus three. Oops. Well, now, you know what? This is a taste bud. So no, not minus three. Okay. Um, 15? Yeah, this is the best food you guys have ever had. I would say we would have had advantage on that. <laughs> uh like camille you guys all surround the uh, fire the mm -hmm. shamans take care of you if you want to take a nap go ahead okay hell um, yeah we'll, we'll we'll do that so. uh you don't know how long has gone by but camille you feel a rough hand rub across your cheek yeah. <laughs> is there a cat here what's going on as your eyes blink and open the hand. Up, you uh, <laughs> notice uh, the scent of lavender hangs heavy in the air. I do and like lavender. An individual known as Oric the Stinky, whom you've met, looks down and says, That is my little dove. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm better now. <laughs> Zadar or Daphne? Zadar, 
Uh, you awake to somebody going through your pockets. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Not in a good way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Usually uh, wait till the second oh, date. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> it's over the pants stuff. It's cool. Try, I'll try to grab the hand, but you know, not threateningly, but just like, hey, what you doing? Real gen <laughs> gently romantic kind of. Uh, uh, roll a straight up d twenty. Let's see if you grab it, smack it, or miss it entirely. Zadar, uh, uh, thirteen. Yep. Uh, yeah, you grab the hand. It's a smaller hand, uh, and as your eyes blink and open up, you notice that. Uh, well, I'll be damned. Uh, it is Aerosmith. Aerosmith. He was trying oh to, my like, gosh. It him. is great to see you. I was <laughs> checking your pulse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hey, uh, uh, you can check. <laughs> Daphne, you wake up to your old friend, Asuki the Witch, uh, as she gently caresses your horns. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. You are surrounded by friends, including two individuals with painted faces uh oh these are crador yeah you gonna eat me you are in auric the stinky's protection you have made it to his place uh whose story do you want to hear first uh suki aerosmith or auric Oric. Oric? Oric. Oric claps his hands and uh Wait, I'm, are we all together now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Four women uh charge in dressed identically. Uh they bring food and uh drink and Camille D twelve against me. Uh Twelve. My dove, I think I have what you want. Uh, <laughs> and a, a fifth woman comes okay. out carrying a silver pitcher. Uh, you can see steam rising <gasps> from it, and she holds out a cup, fills it with jet black liquid, and hands it over <gasps> to you. <laughs> <laughs> he leans down and says. My wives, they were told to take care of you, my dog. Excuse me? He's got five of them. My wives? <laughs> oh, yes. Nothing wrong with being number six, Camille. We'll talk I, about this later. Just give me I the fucking cheated. coffee right now. <laughs> uh, Zadar and Daphne, you guys are fed heartily. Uh, you don't even have to roll. This is some good food. Nebby is starting to come around, but uh he's got he's a bandage so same. he looks like a bad guy because he's, he's only got the one eye now uh Oric's story is uh he wondered if he'd ever see you again uh Ooh. and he has and he has five wives <laughs> you're an asshole oh nice given nice taking away man <laughs> uh and actually the dice took that one away from you about eight weeks ago yes I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whose story do you want to hear next? Uh, Zadar will say, uh, our choices were Oric, the Crador, the Crador, uh, Oric, uh, Suki, or Aerosmith. I want Aerosmith because he was probably the one flapping yeah. above us. Uh, he got here a day ago. Okay. Uh, uh, he reports that he got lost in the heavy fog when he left. Uh, Suki wanted to experience his fine ride, and uh, he points out she digs me. Uh, but due to the atmospheric conditions present on this godforsaken land, uh, we had to land right in the middle of the Crador encampment. Uh, and that's much where we to are. Suki's problem, uh, they were outmatched, outgunned. Uh, and could do very little. Uh, but rather than kill them and eat them like Suki thought they would, uh, the Crador actually offered assistance. Uh, and they spent five days in the encampment. Nice. Uh, and he believes that he has a, a, an understanding with these people 
and he actually took two of them up and away on a ride. Uh, he points out that there was a problem as a winged creature shooting frost-laden breath at him uh, made him go higher, uh, but when he went too high, he lost altitude. However, uh, Suki used her arcane skills, and the other two started to throw some of your belongings out of the, uh, <laughs> the uh, balloon. Awesome. Uh, and actually made the dragon crash. Oh, okay. It's probably pissed. It's I, probably I, pissed. It ain't dead. Underwear I, around I, it. I mean, come I on. don't. I don't think we killed it. Uh, and then you know, a couple days went by. We didn't feel like taking back the crater, so uh, we followed the river and saw the smoke and landed here. And here we are. Um. Glad you're here. <laughs> so, uh, so what's the story with the Kradar? Are they gonna stay here? I mean, what is the relationship with the Kradar and this tribe? They don't have a problem with them. Very well. Okay. I'm not That's... mentioning anything <laughs> at this point. Suki points out that uh, she's glad to see Nebi. Uh, and we'll talk to him when he feels better. Uh, she still doesn't trust the Krator entirely, but she's willing to negotiate in peace uh, treaty. Uh, Camille, sadly, your, uh, uh, what do they call him? Himbo of a boyfriend is surrounded. Yeah, he's a himbo. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, you are far better looking than any of his wives. Uh, and I beards... tell him, I'm so sorry. This can't happen. Uh, well, I, have, I have more coffee. No, you got to get rid of those wives. Oh, I cannot get rid of those wives. All right, then. Bye. <laughs> uh, he also, I, I try to intercede. What about you being number one wife? Please. I am okay. finally shaved. He doesn't need anyone else. Uh, <laughs> actually, you guys have spent the last five days trekking through. There's a lot of female well, escaping that needs to be done. <laughs> Daphne looks like death warmed over. I am only wife or no wife at all. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Uh, Aerosmith believes he understands where they are at. The Krator mm -hmm. have been invaluable. Uh, as pointed out in the geography, uh, and these two actually happen to be Chieftain's twin son and daughter, uh, and they are going to negotiate a trade agreement uh, with Oric and his tribe. And I tell uh, Oric, yeah, I'm not helping you with your little snowman problem. We're out. That is too bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, Aerosmith says he's figured out how to get back to the Grand Academy, and uh, it might take a while, but he thinks he knows the safest route. That's it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to blow this bomb sickle stand <laughs> or what. He will and suggest. I'm... Go ahead. Oh no! I just realized the joke that I made. Blow this popsicle stand, and I was like, no, no. <laughs> uh. Oric would like to stay another day to get Daphne up to speed, uh, mm -hmm. make sure Abby's out of the woods. Uh, and then he says, uh, you guys can leave by noon tomorrow. Okay. Fine. Fine. She's heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she's pissed. I can't believe you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> that one should have been obvious. Uh, that's why he doesn't travel with his wives. It gets all sticky. Yeah, you saw you saw Vikings. You know how that goes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it will take eleven days uh, to circumvent and get to the Grand Academy if Aerosmith is correct. Okay, if he's correct. Uh, he will point out that he has to fly low, so speed is going to be an issue. But if he flies low, it's not as cold, so he can keep the balloon hotter. So, okay. Who, who wants to D12 against me? 
I'm not. Anyone? I'm still mad. Okay. The Darwin D12. <laughs> 11. Hopefully that gives us an advantage and not a disadvantage. <laughs> Frank's uh, doing math. <laughs> right, I'm doing the math. Uh, so you guys are going to stay one day? At uh, least. He, yeah. He'll be able to get resupplied. Uh, Camille, he'll, he will give you his last packet of coffee in the hopes that he can mend any broken feelings. <laughs> uh, and you guys I thought you were different but I guess not uh, in, in his defense you didn't ask if he was married yeah that's true that is true I would think anybody that would share their haunch with me would not be married but <laughs> oh I, I think you'd share a lot more than a haunch uh -huh. yeah <laughs> now that could be a very warm bed with all Man those bodies slut <laughs> Himbo. Himbo. Or, or the go. himbo. I don't know what that means. It's the male bimbo. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a male bimbo. It's a himbo. Himbo. Yeah. Uh, you guys will head off towards the Grand Academy in the hopes that the cartography and geography skills have improved. Maybe, uh, the role... maybe Mortimer is still, you know, good on his sexual skills. Could be. I mean, you can find out. He's <laughs> <for> everything. <laughs> Uh, we will pick up next time and I will let you know if you made it or crashed into the ocean. Oh, uh, no. It, it'll probably float. Uh, we'll wrap it up there and we will ask for final thoughts. Daphne. Uh, I'm really sad knowing you're trying to kill us all. <laughs> I, hey. I, He's did not you meet the dragon? Off. Did you... Had you Did we the kill dragon? a dragon? No. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna Tell dump him. us somewhere. But I wish for the little spider guy we could have like had a little spider baby as friends. Spider guy? Were... You're bitching at me about killing you. Those fucking things would have killed you. What's that? Yeah. Would they just grow up and be like little friends? Uh, they're you monsters. Know? They're, they're monsters. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a label we put on them. You're and you know, a... and, and you know why you put that label on them? Because these fucking <laughs> things will kill you. you. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> they're very well understood. They attacked. So, uh, Christmas spider is actually a thing, or you like came up with that? No, they're a thing. They're a thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, David, final thoughts. Well, it seemed uh, pretty dire for him this episode. Pretty damn dire. So, uh, yeah, but. If Daphne would have reached minus five, she would have been on death's door. Oh, gosh. Yeah, boy, we really pushed it with trekking through, but we had to. We had no choice. <laughs> well, so. it took you 15 days to get from the uh, center of the continent, so you made good time. And actually, when you jumped on the raft, you actually picked up a shitload of time. Had you been able to stay on the raft, uh, you would have met Orc the Stinky no time flat. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So this is Orc the Stinky's village that we're in, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> and I, now, I was hoping we were not going to run into a Crador village or something. <laughs> uh, no, you chose correctly. Had you gone into the woods, you would have hit the Crador. Uh, and now for the verbal abuse. Uh -oh. Carrie, final thoughts. Here it comes. <laughs> so disappointed. Camille had one tiny flame of hope in her heart and you dashed it. <laughs> you dashed it. <laughs> the dice dashed it. <laughs> I mean, she's short. Who else is she? Who else has shown interest in her? Nobody. I I believe uh, Mortimer has. He has and not. Mortimer definitely. He did. It. He actually did. It. When? Like, I don't know. I think when we first met him. So. He's a horn dog, so you know. Well, yeah. okay, so that means he's only going to be there once, and then he's gone. So. You know, well, maybe maybe you can be like Doc Brown and his wife. 
Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Maybe. Have two kids named Jules. Become a time, time lord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, folks, this has been cacophony. Uh, didn't end the way the producer wanted, but no, nope. nice given the, the nice take of the way. I mean, I cannot help that. I, I do not show favors, that's not how it rolls. Uh, <laughs> follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at I'm our YouTube favorite. archive. <laughs> if you want to shoot the shit about me and D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like this shirt, uh. Yep. The link is down there. If you want to join in on Tuesday talk show or Saturday one shots, not this Saturday, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. Let us know. We will get you in a game. Uh, thank you to Pirate, <coughs> Pirate Dog Dice that almost cost Daphne her life. Uh, and uh, Oric the Stinky smells like lavender. So you might want to check Adventure Sense. Maybe they have a lavender yeah. base. Yeah, uh, lavender and like, musk. <laughs> yeah, smells like betrayal right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the scent. Betrayal. Uh, if you're looking for battle mats or uh, shirts, check out uh, our con sponsor, Mattis Productions. Uh, they've got some great stuff out there. It's Mattis 333. Do not Google that, apparently. It's uh, on Twitter, so check him out. <laughs> uh, folks, no Saturday game this week. No Sunday, Margu. We are doing the MurderHoboCon.com. If you missed signing up, sorry, it's closed. Uh, we're going to rock the house on Sunday to try and put a small, small dent in cancer because it is a charity convention. Uh, folks, uh, uh, we will be broadcasting uh, sporadically on Sunday, so feel free to check us out. Keep an eye on the live feed. Uh, you will see the inside of the venue. It's fucking awesome, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. For all of us here at Murder Hobo, Con, or Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Everybody kiss and wave and flip me off. <laughs> Bye, everybody.